Tyrosinase is a rate-limiting oxidase found among microorganisms, plants, and animals. In fungi and vertebrates, it's well known for its participation as a rate-limiting catalyst during the formation of pigments and is commonly found in nature. Tyrosinase is responsible for the formation of many enzymes. As the complexity of the organism increases, so does the number of tyrosinase-like enzymes that organisms produce. An absence of tyrosinase can lead to several diseases and genetic disorders, such as albinism. Though tyrosinase is found in various different forms in plants, animals, and humans, this video will mostly focus on the function of tyrosinase in humans. Tyrosinase is a rate-limiting oxidase, which is an enzyme that catalyzes an oxidation reduction reaction. The specific structure of the enzyme is dependent on the organism in which it is found. In humans, it's composed of approximately 377 amino acids. Because the structure of tyrosinase varies in different species, the size and shape of the enzyme changes. However, one structural feature that is characteristic among all tyrosinase is the presence of a binuclear type 3 copper center within the active site. It is comprised of two copper atoms coordinated with three histidine residues. Although the amino acid residues that make up the central copper binding domain of tyrosinase is highly conserved among all species, the binuclear copper structures of the active site can take on various forms. These copper atoms react with dioxygen, resulting in the formation of a chemical intermediate that oxidizes the substrate during product formation. The most important function of tyrosinase is converting L-tyrosine to dopaquinone during melanin biosynthesis. This reaction, also known as the monophenylase catalytic cycle, occurs via the oxytyrosinase form, which oxidizes phenols into orthoquinones. This reaction begins with the oxygen of a monophenol compound, such as L-tyrosine, and then binds to copper A. The phenol ring then undergoes electrophilic monooxygenation so that it forms a second bond with one of the oxygens within the active site. This step results in a substrate enzyme complex in which the substrate is bound to both coppers. The substrate then undergoes homeolytic dissociation and is released from the active site as an orthoquinone along with one water molecule. The copper ions in the remaining active site are left in oxidation state copper 1 rather than copper 2 due to the loss of both oxygen atoms from the active site, thus generating the deoxy form of tyrosinase. Deoxytyrosinase then reacts with the dioxygen molecule in order to regenerate oxytriosinase. In addition to catalyzing monophenols, oxytyrosinase also has the ability to oxidize diphenols, also known as catechols. When a catechol compound binds to the copper B ion in oxytyrosinase, this initiates the diphenylase catalytic cycle. The diphenylase catalytic cycle includes two steps. The first step involves the conversion of oxytyrosinase to metyrosinase. This occurs after one catechol oxygen binds to the copper B ion, resulting in the reduction of a peroxy bridge between the two active site oxygens. This reduction of the peroxy bridge is accompanied by the release of one of the active site oxygens as a water molecule, and a catechol enzyme complex is formed. The catechol substrate is then released from this complex as an orthoquinone, thus leaving tyrosinase in its met form. The second step of this diphenylase cycle involves the conversion of metyrosinase to deoxytyrosinase. This occurs after a second catechol molecule forms a bond with a B copper ion. This interaction results in a catechol enzyme complex and the release of the hydroxyl group from the active site, which is then converted into a water molecule. The catechol substrate thus dissociates from substrate enzyme complex and the copper ions are reduced from their C2 to C1 oxidation form, thus generating deoxytyrosinase. Like the monophenylase catalytic cycle, the diphenylase catalytic cycle ends with the binding of oxygen to deoxytyrosinase to form the oxytyrosinase. Tyrosinase's main function is in the formation of melanin. Melanin is a natural pigment found in organisms and is formed in melanocytes. 
The concentration of melanin in skin is measured by skin tone. Lighter skin tones have much lower melanin concentration than darker skin tones. Melanin's purpose is to protect cells from UV radiation. Through this, it aids in protecting skin cells from cancer. Therefore, those with darker or more tan skin tones have been shown to have more concentrated melanin and therefore fewer skin cancer outbreaks. It does this by converting tyrosine to dopa and then dopa to quinone, which is then oxidized and cyclized to produce melanin. Melanin is also found in hair and in the iris of the eyes. Tyrosinase is also seen in the food industry. It is one compound responsible for causing fresh fruits and vegetables to go bad and contributes to the brown color in plants. Tyrosinase is found in a variety of tissues. Notably, tyrosinase can be found within the melanin pigments that it forms, which are found in melanocytes, found in skin, hair, and eyes in humans, and found in the flesh of many plants. A lack of tyrosinase can lead to a variety of disorders. One major disorder common among animals and humans is albinism. This is the absence of a pigment in the skin, hair, and eyes. Without tyrosinase, melanin cannot be produced, and therefore albinism occurs. This puts individuals at a great risk for skin cancer as there is little to no pigment in the skin to absorb the UV radiation. This also causes individuals with albinism to often have issues with their vision. Tyrosinase has also been linked to Parkinson's disease by causing slow progressive cell damage through its oxidative properties. Since tyrosinase exists within an extensive amount of organisms and comes in different forms, ambiguity still exists in regards to the overall structure of the enzyme, substrate specificity and binding, proenzyme modification, and integration between intermediate steps of the mechanism process. Current and future research will continue to design and observe the effects of tyrosinase inhibitors in order to obtain a better understanding of the relation between tyrosinase structure and the different catalytic activities and functions that result from these structures. Furthermore, gaining a better and more comprehensive understanding of tyrosinase activity may result in significant clinical applications in regards to diseases and disorders such as albinism, Parkinson's disease, and skin cancer.